Hello and welcome to Mortal Media Channel. Today we're going to show you how to properly use uh, Android Calendar. As you can see, we're uh, open. We, we have the Android Calendar open. First thing you're going to do once in the calendar to create a calendar entry is to click a plus sign. And as you can see, you have things to enter. Title. Let's create a entry. We're going to call it Meeting at Tim. Hortons. Okay. Uh, next thing you're going to do is it doesn't matter really where you clicked it, what date, but you can go ahead and select it here by selecting date. It's the 23rd. Let's uh, make it nine o'clock. Okay. At start, and you can select and and click 10, and we are done here with this okay the next thing you're going to do is uh, and it's very important part to make sure you put it in the right calendar uh, as you can see uh, the calendar is selected you click here and you have more than one option and there's more below so make sure you select the calendar you want to see the entry in uh, and in this case we're going to select this one uh, next, uh, you got your notifications. Default is whatever your default is, but you can also delete it and create a new one. And as you can see, there is on time, which is to me that's too late. Uh, 10 minutes before, 30 minutes before, one hour, one day, or you can create a custom. Uh, let's create a 15 minute reminder. So there we go, we have a 15 minute reminder. The next, we're gonna enter location. And we're gonna try to actually, uh, the best way to do it is to enter location and then click map, so it finds it on the map. This way, next time you try to navigate to location, it is there. So we're gonna say Tim Hortons West Bloomfield, and we're gonna click map and it's going to find it. Once it's found it, you click done. And as you can see, it, it saves it within calendar. So next time, if you are trying to navigate to the place, all you have to do is click the location icon and it will start your navigation. Uh, then we scroll uh, further down and you can set uh, the uh, repeat uh, option. In this case, it's never, it's a one-time event, but you can set it any way you want, including custom. Okay, every day, daily, weekly, however you want to, monthly, yearly. Um, it's a great feature to have. That way you don't forget those important events. So, but we're going to set it to never. And then we're going to look at invite option. And you can invite people by simply time build their, typing their email address in here. And you could obviously do more than one person. So that helps. If you have a meeting uh, with all your friends, send an invitation to everybody. Okay. Uh, and then you would go to you can go to privacy and say set visibility and the default visibility is usually public but you can definitely uh, uh, set private public or however you want it to and if you set it to private you're the only ones gonna see it but if you set it to public and somebody else has access uh, and to this calendar usually uh, this is this has to do with uh, organizations and stuff where they have more than one person has access to calendars. They will be able to see this, or at least see to extend where you will, you allow uh, permission wise. And we're gonna just use a calendar default. Uh, and then you have a status option, which is free, uh, meaning even during the entry. It shows that you, I mean, during the meeting, it shows that you're free and available. A tentative, meaning not sure. Busy, uh, that will show that you are busy. And out of office, again, you are not available. So we're gonna keep it busy. And the last option we have is time zone. And typically it's your time zone def by default, so you don't need it. But if you do need to change it, you can always click time zone and change it at time, change the time zone. There it is. 
Uh, all you have to do at this point, click Save. And that entry will now show up on your calendar on the 23rd. We can see that we have uh, an event. Uh, actually, let me cancel this. Let's scroll it down. It was morning event. So we're going to actually scroll up to see it on the 23rd. Scroll up, scroll up. A little more there we go there's our event that is it I hope this video helps you let me know if uh, you like this video by uh, clicking thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to see more uh, educational and exciting videos thank you